Hello there, and welcome to the War Factory for today, June the 13th. We are going to start off with a GBE attack. I swear I'm not landing eight Zookas. Anyway, starting off with the GBE attack, taking out the rocket launcher down here in the corner. And now, it is possible to do this attack without taking out this rocket launcher, but... Well, I'm a wuss, and I just want to build in some flexibility in case I mess something up. So, I'm going to start off by taking out the rocket launcher, which has around, I want to say, 47,000, 50,000 hit points, give or take. And then, with my leftover GBE, I'm going to actually toss it down on the shock blaster, now, I specifically used all of my artillery on the rocket launcher so I could use my barrage on the shock blaster. And the reason I did that is because everything over here is kind of spaced out. And I can actually get some AoE damage out of my barrage over on the shock blaster. Whereas on the, uh, on the rocket launcher, I could use my artillery and still hit multiple buildings. So, just a kind of a weird thing I don't know I decided to do but I did it anyways so my second GBE attack takes out the shock blaster and then I th have a little bit left over again so I basically toss whatever I can just down onto the miscellaneous defenses back here because I know I'm gonna have to take them out <clears throat> excuse me and that's the end of our second GBE attack. Now, the reason I did that is I, I wanted an extra layer of comfort because I'm running zero boost, so no troop damage, no GBE boosts, not even loot boost this week. So, moving on to the Zuka attack, basically I drew a line between that Doom Cannon there and the box, and then I did the line straight down and dropped my flare a little off center but uh, whatever and then started landing my zookas along the shore to group them up nicely now unfortunately I ran into a f stupid friggin non landing piece of junk so that machine gun gets a few sh free shots off but that's okay it wasn't too too horrible and then I start the smoky path into the deep dark woods now, I, because I was a little off-center, I ended up having my troops go down the, I guess, more left side of the path than I, the, than I had initially anticipated, but with a quick adjustment, that's easy to take care of. Now, what's nice about this is basically your Zookas all end up right here in the rocket launcher safe zone. So with one shock, you can take out the shock blaster, the laser beam, and the shock launcher. So this is basically a, a one shock attack now. So if your troops are slightly lower level like mine are, um, you, you, can, you can spread that GBE out a little bit more so that you can, you know have a t take a little bit longer but still make it there you know what I mean anyways uh, and then I did let some of my ladies veer off towards the I guess northernmost cannons I would suggest against that and flaring down earlier because uh, basically those those extra cannons got to pick off extra zookas which is not necessary anyways from here because we've already taken out that rocket launcher this entire area is just an, a nice big safe zone so we can hit fast forward and not have to worry about our ladies having any kind of problem uh, now while they're busy doing their thing in one and a half times speed I'd also like to point out that recently I finished upgrading all of my landing crafts to level 20 so I, I'm almost looking for something to upgrade, and I figure I'm going to start upgrading some of my defenses finally. And if you guys want to leave comments down below or anywhere else, just letting me know what up, what what defenses you think I should upgrade. Basically, uh, you know, 
I, I would love to get your feedback, get some information, and I guess whichever one gets the most votes, I, I'll probably start upgrading that first. At least until I can get HQ21 and start doing some more, you know, serious upgrades like my armory, whole oh baby. Anyways, I, as you can see, we're still firing away, and Kaplawi, things will explode. All right, delayed Kaplawi, things will explode, we'll get some loot, and we will be able to call it a day. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and hopefully this has helped, and hopefully you guys get gearing up achievements as well. Aw, yeah! Have yourselves a fantastic day.